Hi guys, um, so this is a demonstration of the power loss recovery mechanism that I have implemented in Clipper. Uh, I'm going to be using my Voron 2.4 as uh, the demo vehicle, but this is, is a completely scalable module and can be used on any printer that actually runs Clipper. Um, so as you can see, the print uh, on the 2.4 is half finished. Uh, it has stopped in the middle so this could be because of the fact that the power went out or there was a firmware error timing too close or something like that uh, random error that actually pops up uh, especially in case of a tool changer like the Dutch tool changer this this can happen because of all the boards that are involved um, and then this starts becoming an issue but uh, so I ran into this problem with uh, one of my larger prints that it, it stopped in the middle and then I had to go through a whole process to recover it to some extent. Um, and then I set about the thinking process on how we can actually make this an automated one. So um, the print has stopped on the 2.4 right now. It was printing a Voron queue. Uh, now I have a single macro that uh, is going to do everything that needs to be done. Uh, there's, a, there's a set of procedure that you need to go through before you uh, use this as part of any print recovery uh, but that will all be declared um, and, and documented in uh, in the github as a release demo. this is just a demo so all the calibration and everything has already been done i'm just going to do the uh, macro which is uh, to resume the print so what the macro is going to do is uh, it keeps a track the, the plugin actually keeps a track of everything that essentially is happening as the print progresses and stores it into a variable file the macro uses that variable file to um, to intelligently look at where the tool head was when it actually stopped. Uh, with Clipper being um, a, a microprocessor um, and Raspberry Pi communication thing, uh, this is always a best case estimate, but I've implemented techniques to make it as accurate as possible uh, in the plugin. Once it has that information, it is going to modify the file that was being printed to skip everything that uh, needed uh, to be skipped or was already printed, and it will start printing from uh, that uh, step, that, that G code line forwards. Uh, but before it does that, the gantry has to be leveled um, on, on something like 2.4, or the bed has to be leveled on something like Trident. That is not possible because there's a print on the bed, so you cannot actually Z home on, um, on, on the bed now. So that is where uh, the, the extra um, hardware that I've um, added, just four micro switches on the four gantry corners, um, are the ones that uh, need to be added to, uh, to work with this. Uh, so now it's, it's just going to do as XY home, and then it's going to travel up. So it's going to use those four micro switches and the calibration information that it actually had stored earlier to align the four stepper motors in case of a Voron 2.4 individually with uh, the uh, top of the uh, printer. Um, and it has all the offset information stored in terms of how um, what the what the position of that gantry was when it was um, a proper level gantry with the with the bed. So now it's going to go through that whole homing sequence and adjust each individual stepper motor to get back to that uh, initial gantry position. Um, so if you can see, I'll zoom it in. So you'll see each of the four gantry levels being, our gantry corners being leveled back up again. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Um, this is a slow process by design just to kind of illustrate the point that is happening. You can always adjust the speed in the config file for that particular module. Um, 
now it is doing the third gantry at uh, the third motor and it's it's now so it, it has successfully understood that the position of those motors are now it's applying the offsets to each of those four gantry corners and once that is done we know that the gantry is now flat level with the bed without ever having to probe the bed uh, physically so now it's just going to start printing again from where it left off so that is how you do power loss recovery uh, and recover failed prints with, uh, with Clipper. Um, so I'll, I'll be posting uh, a lot more details around uh, this, along with the uh, Clipper module and the, uh, and the config options as well as the calibration procedure um, very, very soon. But um, uh, this, this has been uh, a, a very good experience for me to actually design something, especially in the software side of things. So I, I hope you guys like this and this is useful to you guys. It's, it's definitely going to be uh, a huge help to me as I um, work more on the tool changer. And when you lose a, a 24 hour print or 36 hour print, 12 hours into the print, uh, throwing that uh, filament waste out is, is just hard -bit. And uh, this is just to counter that. So I'll, I'll be posting more details on this. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, and I hope, I hope you guys like this uh, uh, new feature that I've uh, implemented. Thank you.